Good hello morning everyone. I, that didn't come out well, did it? Uh, welcome to Nat Does. Today I am on the Promen Rose. I'm going to be doing the MRE up here. I decided to just take the last day where I think the weather's going to be nice because I think it's going to be horrible tomorrow. <laughs> so it's glorious sunshine. It's really, really just relaxing before I go to work. So we're going to do an MRE. Um, as you can see, I'll turn you around. It's really, really good. There you go. So that is that is my view for the morning, which I think is amazing. It's beautiful here. I love living here. So yeah, we're going to get the MRE done. And then hopefully I won't get uh, too many strange looks off dog walkers while I prepare my meal. We'll see what happens. I'll see you in a moment. So this is the MRE. It is the Polish MRE. It's pretty cool. Um, I think it's for the snipers. I brought some water with me. So obviously I don't know what's in this so it should be interesting to see if I can actually eat some of this <laughs> without heating it up. should have brought the heater but I didn't. Never mind. Well, let's have a gander inside and see what we've got. Okay so the MRE was a bit of a bust. As if you don't know, when you live by the seaside, there are seagulls. And the minute, the minute I opened the packaging, all the seagulls in Wales decided to come and sit near me. So now I'm going for a little walk instead because I don't want to get mauled by seagulls, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Small change of location. I've decided to come up to somewhere called the Bryn, which is like a little nature reserve-y thing. I'm not really sure where I'm going. I'm just gonna go for a wander. If this is the last film of me that they find, this is gonna be the most boringest found footage horror film known to mankind. I just wanna get this last day of really nice sunshine before the weather turns. <laughs> I'm gonna do this MRE outside if it kills me. <laughs> I'll see where this trail goes and then we'll see where it takes us. It does go to the top somewhere, but I can't find it. But if you have a look, to excuse my extreme close-up of my face, I can't see very well. So this is, my car's like over there. So yeah, it's pretty funky. A little bit of woodland and stuff. So we'll have a mosey and see where we go. Ta-ta. Okay, instant regret. There's so many stairs. Oh my gosh. We're gonna do it though. We're getting oh, further up. Oh. Fun, fun, fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> right. We're here. And this is just randomly <laughs> on a hill where I live. Please, <sighs> Erin. I don't know why I felt I had to walk up the steps really quick. <laughs> Feel free to pause the video and read that at your leisure. Um, yeah. It's pretty funky. So it's obviously an old house, which is very nice. It's a bit of a fixer-upper, but yeah, not bad. So I just kind of emerged from there. So now I'm going to go that way and go and see if I can get further up to the top. Look at this view, halfway up. <laughs> and a break in the trees. Fabulous. Right, kind of top. I'm still I'm not going any further. This is from, went from a, a quick walk to a small hike. And it's really hot. <laughs> so that's all I can see. It's very warm up here. Whew. I'm not gonna lie, walking uphill in 20, I think it's 25 at the minute today. Oh, sorry, I haven't got you my face in. Um, that's hot and walking up a wooded area up to the top of a small mountain is quite exhausting but I tell you what walking down I think is worse because you you're doing that a lot which is a bit strange. It's been nice though I haven't met a single person except one guy at the top uh, and that's it I haven't met anybody else on the walk it's like I had the whole place to myself it was brilliant uh, I didn't really want to do the MRE when I got up there. Sorry, I'm going to do it at home. Right, I'm coming to a low branch, so excuse me. Ooh, I got a fly up my nose, and I think I did eat a fly earlier, which was kind of gross. So, 
yeah. So I'm not going to go down a, a flight of stairs. A flight of stairs. A set of wooden stairs. So if I fall over now, this should be quite hilarious. But it's, it's not. <laughs> that is <just> very steep. <laughs> right. I'm going to need both both eyes, both hands for this. So I'll be back in a moment. Let's see. I am here. And I went on this green, green trail. So yeah. I'm knackered. Worth it though, it's beautiful up there. I'll have to do it again. Right. Oh, I'm back. Oh God, I look like a bee trip. <laughs> oh. There we go. Mm. Hello. Welcome back to Nat Does. I'm back home after my impromptu hike which I didn't think I was going to do. This is all tangled. I just went for a quick wee. It's very difficult to pee in dungarees. <clears throat> the dungarees are very funky. Um, yeah, it was lovely. I had the whole mountain to myself which was amazing and I've still got time to do this before I go to work. I love working in the afternoon. It's hot though. It was very hot. I passed one person on the way up. This guy was just sat there on the bench just loving life and then on the way down a couple of uh, a couple of pensioners but that was it it was amazing I was really impressed um my gosh the temperature look how hot it is 25 25 degrees <sighs> hence the red and realizing that because I haven't rode I haven't rode for a bit I haven't rode since I got back from camping sorry but I'll do an update video for that. Uh, yeah, I did that wore me out. And now I've got to do a shift at work as well. Oh, uh, never mind. So, so we get on with this. <laughs> There's so many locations today. Right, I've already opened it, obviously, because then, then the minute I got stuff out, the seagulls are like, oh, mine. But no, I'm not doing this. There was already people with their dogs walking past me going, what's she doing? I'm just like, mm, talking to myself. So we'll do it here. Um, yeah. What a day. What a day. I, I like days like this, though, because I just get up in the morning and I take her into school and I'm like, right, what can I do? <laughs> Let's go for a hike. I'm trying to get the before the weather goes, because I know the weather's turning tonight into just autumn and rubbish. So anyway so in this mre there's loads of stuff in here actually i only got a few things out this was the first thing that the seagulls cottoned on to and they were like oh biscuits so these are so this looks like crackers sweet ones there's a bag of stuff which looks very interesting it's got sweets and things uh this is a oh a ghetto oh chocolate sorry it's chocolate cake and i can't say it in in polish so chocolate cake a nondescript tin of something. It doesn't say anything. It just has serial numbers on the bottom. <sighs> oh, a straw. A straw. <laughs> it's got a toothbrush. <laughs> this is brilliant. A toothbrush. Tons of cutlery and a napkin. Oh, whoa. Water sachet. Not for drinking. Contains tap water and 0.1% bleach. What the hell's that for? Is that for washing your hands? Colour me confused. Uh, the next one is not in English. Smaku. I don't know what that is. I will find out. Oh, the reflections aren't very good. I'll get Google Translate on that one. Oh, another one. Uh, instant smaku something. That sounds a bit soupy. Instant. <laughs> I don't know. Instant. I think that might be soup. I'll check on the, the translate though, obviously. Oh, more. More crackers. Same thing, I think. Sucrey, sucrey. Yes. Sucrey. What's this? Oh, a little. Uh, I have my hands. Oh, a little box of matches. This is a really cool pack. I like it. Oh, oh gosh. It's a heating bag. Bags for carrying out chemical disinfection of drinking water. 
Oh, wow. So this is a proper survival pack. Fill the bag with water, which is unknown. It's in the mark of one litre. Close bag, live 30 minutes before. Oh, wow. So that basically disinfects uh, water so you can drink. Like if you are by a stream or a river or something, running water from the river. Don't drink still water from a river if you're going to clean it because you'll get the poos. This is, oh, yay, another heater. Yeah, this is another heater. Oh, whoopee. <laughs> oh, a box. Oh, okay. What else have we got? And empty. Uh, so this is something as well. There you go. I'm going to have to Google Translate all of this. Let's see. Uh, oh, and it feels very squidgy. Right. So we'll, uh, I'll get my Google Translate and we'll have a look. I'm so red. I do apologise, guys. I look terrible. But this is what happens when a, a large lady goes for a very hefty walk in the morning. <laughs> I'll see what's going on with these and I'll be back in a mo, guys. Open the, the sachet with all the bits in. So here's a little picture of what you get. So you get like wet wipes for your hands, sugar, salt and pepper. You get a stick of gum, two little sweets, uh, and a, like a coffee sweet. You get a waterproof, <laughs> water purification tablet and a napkin and some coffee. So the other ones that were in it, let me just look. So that's the coffee. Um, there was, what's this now? Yeah, instant coffee. And then these on here are called special dryers. Very interesting. Uh, the tin, this is sterilized, sterilized pork and beef luncheon. So that's obviously like um, spammy pate. Um, the big pack of the main meal is beef stew in Hungarian sauce. I'm looking forward to that because I am actually very hungry now. Uh, there was drinking chocolate with mint flavor. But on the... I don't know why, but it says it on here. Nanny arousal fuzzle. Can you see it? Nanny arousal. Worrying. Escalated. And then this one was instant tea drink, concentrated lemon flavour. Lemon tea, which I'm kind of, I'm into that. I'm kind of interested. So yeah, uh, we'll give these a go. And then obviously the chocolate cake. So now I'm going to have something to eat because I'm absolutely starving because I didn't have breakfast either because I'm stupid because I thought I was going to eat straight away when I got off my walk, um, into my walk. So let's give it a, let's give it a whirl. Right, I just made the drinks. <laughs> got so many drinks. Let me put my phone there. Excuse me. Right. So this is the coffee. Cheers. I'll put a bit of milk in it. Mm, yeah, it's ba basic instant coffee. That's nice. I mean, it's coffee. Coffee's coffee in my eyes. I am a bit of a snob with coffee. <sighs> but there you go. Um, this is the hot chocolate in my color. Oh, in my heat changing. Dirty mug. So it changes to her when it's hot. This is mint. I like mint chocolate in very small doses. I don't like that one. Hmm, it's a bit weird. I don't know. It's not, it's, it tastes fruity. Very strange. It's all right though. And then this. Now this is the tea with lemon. Now I think maybe because there's a straw included, it may have been made with cold water. I'd give it hot because I'm English and stupid. Cheers. It smells really nice though. Oh, that's lovely. That's that's good. They're like weird granules. It looked like um, sawdusty bits. I was like, oh god, that's really nice, and it's really hot. So I'd probably be. Continuing to drink that, my table is full. Uh, I'm going to probably keep drinking that throughout because that is delicious. Out of the three drinks, the lemon, definitely. Right, let's try the uh, this pate stuff. And I'm going to try it with my biscuits. And I think I know exactly, yeah, it's like spam. Actually, it is spam. It smells just like it. Look, there we go. Let me get my cutlery out. Quite a good kit. I do like 
that they give you a toothbrush. I think that's really a very random thing, but a good thing. And there's another napkin, which is awesome. And then, oh, it's a little teaspoon. I'm keeping these. I'm gonna re I'm gonna wash these and reuse them for everything that I do. Knife. And I don't know exactly what I'm going to rest this on, but I will figure it out in my own time, probably on this because I'm not going to need it. Uh, yeah, it it's spam. I, you know what? I know a lot of people slag it off. I like spam. It's kind of nice. There you go. Chunk of spam. Jobs are good. Mmm. That's really good. Mmm. I do like me some spam. Again, I'm eating with my knife. I do apologise. I'm so sorry. That's really, I thought it was going to be more pate ish. I was ready with my biscuits. That's really good. So, yeah, it's just spam. Oh, you can't really go wrong with spam, can you? And the, you know what I really like about it? It's resealable, so I can stick it in the fridge and have it later. Because a lot of this stuff, you can't reseal it. I like that. Bit of spam. Nice. Mm. Should we try the biscuits? I'm sure I'm going to be blown away with the biscuits. Where are these biscuits when I wanted them before? These got seeds in them. They're rock hard. What the hell? Right. They're really, really hard biscuits. And they've got something in them, but I don't know what they are. I'm going to have to get my glasses and try that in a second. Very strange. Uh, right, next up is the food, the main event. Hopefully this will be as nice as the Russian one. This is beef and Hungarian sauce. Oh, it's, see, I don't know what Hungarian sauce is. So if you are from Hungary, please write in the comments below and say, what your favourite food of Hungary is. You know, let's be all inclusive. I know we're in Poland at the moment, but it'd be nice to know. Can't fold this now. Ugh. It smells really nice, actually. Uh, mm, it's uh, a tray like that. It's a bit... Ooh. So where's my fork? Let's have a look, shall we? What I'll do, as I usually do, I'll try it cold and then I'll try it heated up. So... Oh, that! Wow, there's the beef. Show me the beef. So there's the beef there. Okay, it's lots of it's. You can tell there's lots of peppers and tomatoes in it. It smells really nice, like it's seasoned. I hope. That's okay. Hmm. You know what? That's not half bad. There's a lot of fatty pieces in it, but you know that's to be expected. There's a lot of beef in here, though. Wow, we. There's loads. That's awesome. I'm quite impressed with that. I mean, I don't know if it's because I'm absolutely starving because I've just been on a hike. Mmm. That's very good. I must say, I have been impressed with some of the ones that I thought weren't going to be good. I don't know why. I mean, the British MRE that I did, what I'll do, I'll put a link in the description below of the the playlist or the, the videos that I've done of the other MREs. Because the one I thought that was going to be really good was the English one. I thought our one was going to be really good. But to be perfectly honest, I was really quite, I was quite disappointed. Obviously, nothing is going to beat the French one at the moment. The French one is top tier MRE material. It is like the dogs. <laughs> uh, the American one was all right. It was a bit... Mm. Um, that Russian one I did, that was really good. And now this one. I'm quite impressed. Yeah. I'm going to try this chocolate cake now. But I'm going to heat this up first. 
I do like the lemon tea. So I'll be back in a second. I'm going to see what seeds are in, in these little biscuits because obviously I don't want to eat them and then I, I feel a bit weird because I can't eat some seeds because they make me a little bit weird. They make my mouth strange and stuff. It's like an allergic reaction. So I'll go and heat this up and we'll see what this tastes like. Hot. Back now. It's really hot. <laughs> so there it is. It's very, very hot. It smells really good. It's like, again, like the Russian one, I'm expecting this probably to taste even better now it's hot because you know, reasons, but we'll see. I can't get on my fork now. Come on, please. Hello. Mmm. Mmm. This is really, really good. I'm really impressed with this. Well done. <laughs> no, really impressed. Um, it's seasoned really well. The sauce is great. It's obviously, it's just a regular tomato red pepper sauce, but it's really, really nice. What I found with these, these meals is that obviously when you're having these, you're not, it's meant to be like home cooking, make you feel like home. And also it has to sustain you and stuff like that. So yeah, I think this one's really good. I'm quite happy with that. These though, I mean, I can't, they're so hard. They're proper dense. I don't know if, don't come in the Hungarian sauce. You never know. Mm -mm. No, still rock hard. <laughs> Jesus Christ, they're so hard. Oh well. I've got some in my teeth. Right, um, I'm gonna try the chocolate cake in a minute. I'm just gonna chow down on this for a bit because I'm actually very hungry. I'm also gonna try and figure out this as well, the water. I don't really understand. Obviously, if you know, let me know. I go into these things blind. I don't, I don't know what they're for. It's obviously for something for cleaning. Or oh, putting it in the heater, I think. I'm not using the heater. You've already seen me use a heater, so no. Right. I'm going to finish eating this. Well, some of it. And then I'm going to try the chocolate cake and have some more of my drinks because that lemon tea is lovely. I'll be back in a mo. <laughs> Pokey pokey. I'm not eating them biscuits because I don't know what seeds they are because it isn't specified. They're rock hard and I'll probably break my teeth. Uh, chocolate cake. We're going to try this. Uh, <laughs> she says, trying to get into it. Ooh, it smells very chocolatey. It actually looks like a cake. My gosh. Oh, look at that. That's adorable. It's in its own little packaging. Look, it's a little slab of cake. I have actually brought my glass with me with some water because we've also got the bonus items that we got free in our pack. Thanks to the guys at MRE Empire, they uh, they put little freebies in there. So there you go, that's the cake. Looks quite dense. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Very cakey. <laughs> Very cakey. I love this tea. The tea's brilliant. Nice, nice amount of lemon. Uh, the cake's all right. I'm not going to eat a lot of this because obviously it's just too much chocolate. It is very dense though. I mean, you can see it's proper dense. It's not very, it's a bit dry, but it's okay. It's better than that maple thing that we had. Ooh. So that, that is actually quite nice. I like that. You know what? I've been very pleasantly surprised with these. <laughs> right, the next thing, we'll try the raspberry drink. I've got so many drinks here. I'm going to be going to the toilet all afternoon. This is the raspberry drink powder. Uh, to prepare a soft drink, it's 45 grams powder, 375, cold water, and stir or shake. Hey, I can use my straw. So it's, woo, fresh. Freshly ground cocaine. And there it is. 
very powdery, but still, oh, I hadn't, so I didn't even think to use my straw. Oh, that's sad, it didn't work. Anyway, oh, and we'll give it a stir. Oh, it is very, it's very pink. I like it, it smells very raspberry. I think it might take a while to stir this because it is quite. So yeah, I'll drink this while I'm waiting for my drink. There we go. So that's pretty cool. It does smell a lot like raspberry. Ooh. Oh my God, you know what that tastes like? Right. My Polish video, when I went to Asda and bought tons of Polish food, there was a raspberry cordial. I still get that to this day. It is so nice. It's in a glass bottle. That tastes just like it. That is like, yeah, that's the raspberry drink that you can get. You can get that in Asda. Yes, I can. That's, I'm happy about that. That's lovely. Uh, blueberry turnover. I have a feeling this might be a little bit like the maple bun. Oh, God, it is as well. Oh, no. <laughs> it is as well. Oh, no, Al's bells. It's, uh, yeah, it doesn't seem as dry as the other one. It can smell blueberry on it. Let's break it in half. Oh! It's got proper, it's got blueberry puree in it. it smells nice. That's actually not bad. That's really nice. I, li I like blueberries anyway. I think blueberries are awesome. I can just eat blueberries like that's really nice so in the middle like a filling I know it's like chocolate on video but it's just blueberry like jammy puree it's really good the stuff around it's a bit dry but still that is really nice hmm thank you MRE Empire for that nice little addition to my my box of goodies yeah, there's like whole blueberries in there. That's brilliant. Hmm. Happy days. Right. This video has gone on way too long. I do apologise, guys. It's been another long-winded. But it's been a day out. It's been kind of fun. Uh, mm. That's really good. I'm quite happy now. I've got all my drinks. Mm. So... Star of the show, I'm going to have to say, is the, the beef stew. The beef stew with Hungarian sauce. Delicious. Uh, and next after that, I'm going to have to say is the blueberry turnover. I think that's really, really nice. The lemon tea is wonderful. Mm. Ah, lovely lemon tea. The chocolate cake's nice as well. I will save that. I'll wrap it up. And Owen can have that later when he gets home from school. Oh! And I forgot the spam. I could put that in my fridge. Yeah, the spam's nice as well. All in all, I can't say the only thing that I don't like out of the whole thing is them biscuits because I'm sorry, I'm going to break my tooth. And the hot chocolate, it's weird. It doesn't taste minty. I know I've just had all this weird stuff. It smells fruity. That's not normal. I mean, I'm trying to give it the benefit of the doubt, but I'm not a fan. I don't really like drinking hot chocolate anyway. And the coffee's okay. It's just coffee. It's just generic coffee. So yeah, brilliant. And obviously the raspberry drink. So the two bonus items, wonderful. But the rest, awesome. Uh, once I've eaten all this, I will obviously dig into my little pack that I got of stuff, wherever the hell I've dumped that, and have some gum. My breath's going to be awful. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Another long video. Mm, I may, I don't know. Occasionally I'll probably do do this. Uh, coming up on that does, I think I'll be doing my Geek Gear box, which would be good. Um, I'm can't, I can't wait to open it. I've been looking at it for over a week now, like, mm, open it. I wonder what t-shirt I've got. So we'll be opening that. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you you being here and staying with me. It's been lovely to, to chow down on some nice food today before I go to work after my exercise. Um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, it'd be very, very nice. I still have stuff over there in a little box for a giveaway when we hit that 100. 
so you keep you know tell your friends and stuff i am a nice person i really am uh, like the video whack a comment down below uh, i am very ignorant with i'm not knowing stuff i'm useless but i am willing to learn so i've had some really nice posts from people in poland or from poland uh, on my other videos with the food really really nice people so yeah and shout out to mre not sponsored but go and check them out if you if you do fancy having given it a go yourself have a go anyone can buy them they're brilliant right i'm off i will see you in the next video my darlings and you take care and have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video